Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Math 10C, Chapter 1, Section 4, Surface Area of Cones and Pyramids. Now we're getting into the questions that make you think. All right? So far, it's been pretty much plugging the numbers in the formulas. Now we're getting to the tough parts. So here is a rectangular pyramid. Notice the base is 14 by 5, which means you have two different slant heights. Because this slant height goes with this rectangle, so triangle. This is 24. And going across, this will be half of 14 or 7. It's going to be slant 1. Then you have the other height. Now it's a little difficult to draw, but it's a slant height going down here, which comes from the front. So that is 24, but it's half of 5, which is 2.5, which gives you a different slant height. So you have two slant heights you have to calculate for two separate triangles. Pain in the bum. Now, I'm going to do the first one with you, then I'm going to expect you to do the second one. So just a reminder, Not do 24 squared in my head. Come on, wakey wakey. Now, black side. Six. Plus 49 is 625. Black side. And the square root of my answer. It's 25. Now that's slant 1. I'm going to pause the recording, and I want you guys to find the slant height for the second triangle here. Okay? Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when I did it, I got my second slant height is 24.1 square inches, or 24.1 inches. i got to remember to include my units. Now, I want to point out there's nothing really hard here, but man, there's a lot of steps you can screw up in. So, now we have to find the total surface area. So, area base plus air, two times area side one plus two times area side two. Length times width plus two times one half. Base one height one plus two times one half. Base two height two. Now should I put those in? I'll oh, put them in brackets because I can't. So plugging the numbers in. This is fourteen times five. Two times one half times. 14 inches, and the slant height for 20, 14 inches is 25 inches. Don't mix them up. 2 times 1 half times 5 inches times 24.1. So, uh, 70 inches squared plus, I can't do that in my head. <laughs> 25 times 14 is 350. Uh, 120.5 inches squared, I think, but I'm going to double check my math. One, two times one half is one, so that's five times. 24.12, which works out to be, I think, I'll call it 20.6, right? So I'm rounding off. And don't round off to the end. Now, here you add your numbers together. And I should use my calculator for that, but I'm going to try, I'm going to race you. 120, all right, so 20 and 50 is 70, 140, 240, 540.6. 
Okay? So that's what I got. Any questions so far? Annoying, long, but doable. Now, I'm going to skip the tetrahedron. Now, this leads to my favorite trick question. Which ice cream cone can you coat with more chocolate? Notice one has a height of three centimeters and a radius of three, sorry, height of 11 and a radius of three centimeters. The other has a height of five inches and a radius of 1.5 inches. Now, I want you to convert the units before you answer the question. All right, so. Okay, so surface area is pi r s, sorry, pi r squared. That's pi r s. Now, so we need the slant height. What don't we need? Think for a sec. It's an ice cream cone. It's hollow. It has no top, which means we don't have the pi r squared. It's just the pi r s. So we need to figure out the slant height for both of these. Okay? Now, I said we have to convert units before you answer the question. So uh, inches to centimeters, centimeters to inches, doesn't really matter. I'm going to convert inches to centimeters because I can. Okay? So 1.5 inches over x equals inches over centimeters. 1 inch is 2.54. So I have to cross multiply. So this is 1.5 inches times 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch inch times x. Try both sides by one inch. So x is, well, I can't do that in my head. Now I'm hoping you remember how to do this because we spent a couple days doing it. 1.5 times 2.54 divided by 1 is 2.54. Don't do that to me. 3.81 centimeters. And then the 5 inches, x equals inches over centimeters, 1 inches, 2.54. We cross multiply, 5 inches times 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch times x, divide both sides by 1 inch. times 2.54 divided by 1 is 12.7 centimeters. Okay. So, convert the units before you answer the question. So this is... Oh! Now we still have to calculate the slant height. How poopy. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 3 squared plus 11 squared equals s squared. 9 plus 121 squared is 130. I think it's 130. Once again, check. I don't expect you to be doing this, copying this out as we go along. I expect you to be paying attention. You can go back and figure out later. Okay, so my slant height is 11.4. Now, here we got to figure out the slant height for the uh, other. Actually, I'm gonna. This is getting along. Be a long recording. I'm gonna pause the recording. You guys are gonna figure out the slant height for this one. And then we're gonna come back and compare surface areas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got a slant height of 13.3 centimeters. 13.25, yeah, close enough. Don't round off till we get to the final answer. So here we have to compare the surface area of the sides, pi r s for both of them. So for the first one, pi times the radius, which is 3 centimeters, times 11.4 centimeters, Uh, 
Stop that. People are watching. Oh, you poopy head. Sorry. What's your issue? I just want... No. Sorry. I don't want to cover up my numbers when I'm doing it. And of course, Mr. Computer knows better. This is third rate. Now, 11.4. I scroll up so I don't type the numbers in again because I'm lazy. 107.5. Okay. Now, the other one. Surface area, pi rs, pi, now my radius was 3.81 centimeters times my slant height, 13.3. Right, wrong one. Pi times 3.81 was up here. Times 13.3 is right here. 158.7. Okay. So which is bigger? The black one. All right. Now, this video is getting too long, so I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to show you my other version of the trick question you got to know. All right. Good luck.